Uh, hopefully by now you've downloaded Packet Tracer, but I just thought I'd throw a quick video on some of the key things uh, that you need to concern yourself with. Um, so uh, once you've installed it, you should see an icon similar to looks like a slice of cheese with a magnifying glass. Um, so click on that link. It'll come up with a nice introductory, but then it's going to ask you to log in uh, and use the same login you got into Netiquette. Uh, so I'm gonna, that way it gets all the just your email address. and your password that way you get all the all the <laughs> if you can remove your password oops now i know what the problem is Let's go back. Helps to type in your email address, right? That should be better. That should work a little bit better. So you're going to get a screen that looks like this, big bank blank screen. And like I said, one of the labs we're going to do is, you know, run through some of the paces and how this stuff works. But some of the things I want you to understand is uh, if you want to make sure you remember where you put all of your saved PKI file, you want to go to options, preferences, And let's see here, administrative, you can change that. And then you can change your user folder. That way, anything you save gets put there. Uh, so that's the first thing I would do. Or you can save it to your desktop, whatever the case may be. Uh, let me see if I can close that. If I can get it out of the way there. Now, a lot of these things you will probably never use, but to but as you can see, there are different devices here. You got network devices, and once you click on network devices, it identifies different types. So if I look down below, you've got routers, there's switches, you know different types of equipment down here and as you click on one of those you'll see different types is here uh, so if I go back to routers and to use these all you gotta do is drag them and put it up there um, if I wanted to connect let's say an end device an end device as you're gonna find in the first chapter is basically user equipment in PCs laptop servers phone IP phones um, Try that. Now, if you're looking for, now, this is great. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is not a wireless router or wireless PC, so I need some kind of media that connects the two. Uh, and you click on this <laughs> little bit of a flashy arrow. Click on that. My computer, right? And then you've got a whole series of different types of media uh, that each of the labs will uh, help you through but I wanted to at least show you that uh, so if I wanted to connect let's say that cable put it put it one end I'm gonna connect it between my fast Ethernet port and I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna connect it to my gigabit port now those red lines mean that hey there's other stuff that needs to be done and the lab will help you through this um, so once you've done whatever the exercise has asked you to do and like i said you usually get a pka file which 
comes up with either a blank screen like this or a pre-configured network and a Word document that gives you the instructions. You'll also see the instructions inside the PKA file, but sometimes there's questions that are asked uh, for the lab that I need you to put the answers in the Word document. So you finished all this, and then all I can do now is save this lab. And you can click Save. And this is where, you know, knowing where you saved it. And like I said, you can put it on your desktop. You can put it in anything you want. In my case, like I said, that mine was, you know, you know, packet tracer 7.0, you know, 7.3 in the saves thing. And then give it an answer. Uh, give it a file. I'll just do test. And in this case, it'll come back as a PKT file. And whether it stores as PKT, PKA, uh, I'm going to mention PKA because in a lot of cases the pre-configured ones will already start that way. Uh, so if you if, don't get confused if you see uh, a different choice there, uh, you save it. And then when it comes to submitting it into Moodle, like I said, you're going to submit me the Word document or in the PKA file or the PKT file, either one. So hopefully this gives you uh, at least started and where you can send some of your biggest uh, issues that I've seen in the past with I lost my file. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.